Our toxic wave line is a, what we call it a hybrid wave board. What this means, it means that it has a tail and a nose, like on a directional board, like on a, on a classic surfboard. But it has a full twin-tip stance, which means that you stand the feet without changing or jabbing. So you don't change the, fin, the foot position, you always stay uh, in a pad like you're doing on a twin-tip board, but you use the tail and the nose to wave ride. This feature is uh, achievable thanks to uh, a different fin displacement and a different rocker. On the tail, you have three fins, as you can see over here, and a big rocker. On the nose, you have two fins, a classic scoop in the front, and a recess over here that allows you to actually cut the water while you're using the nose as a tail. The reduced thickness of the toxic wave allows to have the board with a very low volume in the middle here, which is in between a twenty board and a full uh, wave board, like a full surfboard. So the thickness over here is only 2.5 cm, and this thickness allows you to have enough flotability of the board when you're actually wave riding, but still enough control when the wind is part, when, when you're actually using the full rail of the board because you're riding a, still a hybrid board, which is a twin tip board. So thinner rails and a slightly thicker middle allows you to have a board which is completely hybrid, a crossover between a surfboard and a twin tip board.